I'm always excited when there's a chef cooking in the kitchen. Chef Troy Tomlinson from Viaggi's is back. Welcome back to you. Thank you. How's nice to be been? here again. I've been fantastic. Now, you've got a new one for us today. Pronounce it for me again. It's called arancini. Arancini, and that is? It's a traditional uh, fried rice uh, that are formed into balls. And the nice thing about them is you can use leftover rice mm -hmm. um, and any combination of vegetables, proteins uh, that you have in your refrigerator. It doesn't, there's no specific way. This particular one is, is a wild mushroom. So I have a filling started here. It has mm -hmm. the rice and mushrooms, has a little bit of onion, some butter, a little thyme, and that's Alfredo sauce. And this is gonna form a nice creamy filling that once it's done, we're gonna cool it. Awesome. And the rice is naturally sticky, so I imagine this lends itself really well to those sort of ball-shaped appetizers. That's right. So we're going to light, just cook it until that cream sauce breaks down. We're going to season it a little bit, and then we're going to cool this mixture in the refrigerator until it's completely cool. All right. And you've got some over here that are already cool. I do. Once they're completely cool, we're going to scoop them into little balls, and we're going to use a three-stage breading process. We're going to use flour first. That's going to help the egg. Mm -hmm. That's going to help the egg stick to the, to the outside of the ball. And then we're going to roll them into panko breadcrumbs and just lightly coat them. And is your flour or your egg wash, is that seasoned at all or is that straight up? That's my secret. No. Okay. <laughs> no, you should season, you should put a little bit of seasoning in your flour and a little bit of seasoning in your egg wash. Got it. And this is a very standard bread, and you can use this not, not only for this, but if you wanted to make your own chicken parmesan at home, mm -hmm. you could use this same. This is just panko breadcrumbs, which are fine ground breadcrumbs. Once we get them all breaded, then we're going to drop them into to a deep fryer. Now, what if you don't have a deep fryer at yes, home? Yes, because I don't. <laughs> you, the, a fry daddy is, is a perfect little vehicle for, for something like that. Or... I put a shallow pan out in front of me. Mm -hmm. If you just put a thin layer, about a half inch of oil in the bottom of that pan mm -hmm. and use a candy thermometer and get it to 350 degrees. I can and do you, that. You can fry them right in, right in that pan. You'll have to turn them once, but that's okay. And this looks like a great appetizer for some of the vegetarians who might be on your guest list. With Thanksgiving coming up, a lot of folks are looking for that sort of savory type appetizer as opposed to the sweet stuff. That's right. We're going to take these out of the fryer. And how long do they cook for? They're about six minutes. That's not bad at all. So you can do several things. I made a little bit of cream sauce. Mm -hmm. You can buy Alfredo sauce if you want to. You don't have to. But I made a little bit of cream sauce. It's with Parmesan Reggiano and some cream and some scallions. And that makes for a beautiful presentation. Tell you what we're going to do before you make it. Voila, fantastic. We're going to take a quick break, come back with today's entertainment news, and I'm going to dig in. Don't go away.